We tell these stories, it's just to really hit home the fact that these are dangerous animals. And if things go bad, they can go bad quickly. And that's why they call them dangerous game. The trip to distant Africa is a journey of the mind and spirit, and one that spans many miles and modes of transportation. When Eliza and I first spoke about hunting dangerous game, I was a little bit of trepidation in the fact that, you know, she'd never hunted dangerous game. I had to learn a little bit about the anatomy of the elephant. So I had to study where the brain was, the size of the brain, and how to adequately place the shot from a side and from a frontal uh, point of view. This is a shot that you can make, I'm confident of it, but it is probably the most difficult. Which was comforting to me because of my background, I'm a physician. We were talking about uh, the cheekbone, the zygomatic bone, and, and where it is relative to the eyes and everything for the shot. That's it right here. And this has been, been cut out or broken out, but it, it extends from there onto here. And that's a lump you'll see on the side of his face. She really took it to heart and studied uh, different angles. And, and being a doctor, I think, too, helped a lot where she knew where the organs were and where the brain was placed and where she had to make her shot. From the side, place a lethal brain shot where the elephant's ear hole would be, in the vulnerable space between the zygomatic arch and the first crease of the ear flap. And we really wanted that side brain shot. That was the ideal situation. And just be ready because that first shot is yeah. what really counts. Exactly. That's exactly right. And that's the attitude to have is, is your first shot is, is the most important shot on Dangerous Game. I'm ready. Let's go. Whether an elephant shows or a cake buffalo, It'll be a first for Liza. It's the whole thing about Dangerous Game is the first time is probably the best. It's the most exciting. Everything just seems brighter, stronger, more alive. The factors that make it amazing is the hunt, the difficulty, the challenge, the team, but also the danger factor. The elephant can be very intimidating. It's a huge animal and when you see him from the vehicle or you see him from far away, it doesn't really affect you like it does when you walk up 20 yards. When you get up 20 yards on him and he senses something and turns at faces you, it's intimidating. Your heart starts pounding. And that was one of my concerns with Eliza, was whether she'd be able to concentrate enough to make the shot and remember everything that we'd gone over. Roger had shared with me that the hunt for an elephant was different in that a lot of times you would track an elephant for a long time because their sense of smell is so acute. It requires a lot of patience and a lot of observation. One of the days we saw this teenage male that was just out of control, making all this noise and chasing the buffalo. He must have been in heat or something. It was so much fun to watch that. I think that we probably saw 75 to 100. It was a beautiful experience. She, I think, got aware of animals and how they were moving, and it was a great experience for her to see up close what these animals look like. Sometimes if you find a track that tells you it's gonna be a big bull, you might track for two, three hours, but then get there and it's a nice sized bull, but it's missing one of its tusks. got up on some bulls. There was four bulls together. They were in the shade. Two big bulls, one with a one tusker. If he had both tusks, we would have definitely shot him. We were able to watch him. We didn't get that close. We were about 40 yards away. I didn't want to be forced into a situation where he'd have to shoot a single tusker. This bull with one tusk, if he had both tusks, we'd probably take him. But I think let's leave him. They don't know we're here. We're just going to back out slowly. Similar to that uh, hunt where there were the, the four bulls that we actually observed for a while and I learned from it, Jeff spotted another bull, nice size, beautiful tusks, close to us, I would say 80 yards behind a tree. He was eating the pods that they love. We all get really, really quiet. 
and we're moving at the pace of a slug. Just goes to show you what can happen in hunting is we were expecting a long stalk and within 10 minutes we were on a big bull. Just pick your spot. I'm ready. Right in the Okay, reload. And come, come, come up, come up, come up, quickly. We gotta shoot, he's gonna get up. Good shot. Reload, reload. Reload it quickly, because he was kind of moving a little bit. Shooting right in the back. Good shot. I couldn't believe it. Good oh shot. my goodness. You dropped him. One shot. Is that a good shot? <laughs> good shot, oh you dropped God. him. Good job. He dropped I can't him. believe it. It was textbook. She hit him exactly where I told her to, right in the crease of the ear. So the first shot probably wasn't in the brain. It was close enough that it stunned him, though. Can which is what down. I was, yeah, knocked him down. You know, he's rocking, rocking, trying to get up, and your second shot took him in the top of the head, which also, I think, it was very close to the brain there. And then that last shot where you shot him through the back and went into his lungs. Yeah, that's great. It was a great shot. It's beautiful. It was a beautiful elephant. The tusks were fairly long and a good size diameter. Beautiful face, beautiful ears. It was just a beautiful animal. Okay, Liza, you see all these tracks here where these bulls have been in here feeding? Yeah. And this is where we've seen all the big bulls that we've seen on this hunt have been in, in these camel thorns. And, and what this is is a pod. Here's your seed there. And a lot of the elephant droppings we've seen, you've seen those seeds in the droppings. Oh, yeah all over the place. Now what they're eating is this stuff here. Yeah. You know, they eat the whole thing and you see them, they're so adept at picking up these pods. It's just a big animal like that. You know, they just pick them up one at a time and eat them one at a time like popcorn. Jeff is absolutely amazing. He knows the animal's behavior very well. He's amazingly experienced and shares that information with all of his team. It's not something you can tell somebody how it feels. You have to really live the experience to really truly appreciate it. I don't think I appreciated the sport uh, as much as I do now.